All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to be talking about graphing linear functions. What do I really hope the students learn is that every equation that they see in this chapter will make them a straight line. So, for example, this equation will make a straight line. Which one? We don't know yet. The only thing that we know is that there is going to be a relationship between x and y, and we can use this relationship to get ordered pairs. I start off by making a table. I call it my x and y table. You've also heard of the t-table, probably from your previous teachers. And I ask myself a very simple question. I go, what is the value of y if x equals 1? So what I do is I pick x to be 0, and then I figure out what y is. How do I do that? Well, I go right up here, and if x is 0, negative 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 4 is 4, so when x equals 0, y equals 4. And I've got this relationship, x equals 0, y equals 4. I ask myself another question. The question is, what is the value of y when x equals 1? So I plug 1 in up here, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 plus positive 4 equals positive 2. So once again, I have found that when I insert x into the equation, y is equal to 2. What do you think my next question is going to be? Well, you guessed it. I'm going to figure out what happens when x equals 2. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus positive 4 is 0. And so I get 2, 0. These can be written as ordered pairs, where we have the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. And what can I do with these ordered pairs? I can graph them. If I graph these points on a line, notice there's 0, 4. There's 1, 2, and there's 2, 0. I hope you notice that these points line up. So this equation right here represents this straight line. Try another one. What I asked the students to do in class was to be able to give me three different ordered pairs. They got to pick whatever x they wanted to be able to figure out which y they were going to get. I think you're going to start to notice a pattern when I do this that I always tend to pick 0, 1, and 2. So when x equals 0, I plug it in. 2 times 0 is 0, and then plus 1 is 1. And I have a point on my graph. When I pick x equals 1, well, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And what do you know? I have a new point. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And you see where that point ends up. I'm using a fourth point here because many students like to use problem points 1, 2, and 3, so I want them to be able to see what answer I would get. And you notice that the lines always line up. I can pick any point I want to to plug in for x, but I try and encourage people to pick the easiest points they possibly can. Here's another one. I'll stop right here, give it a shot if you want to try and graph it out yourself before, um, before I go. All right, here we go. Think you know which points I'm picking. Zero gets me four. One, negative three plus four is positive one. Negative three times two is negative six, plus four is negative two. And they all line up. So every equation makes a straight line. That is the biggest thing I want the students to know. Here's a special one y equals 5. I always say pick the points that are easiest for you to pick. And this one is about as easy as it gets. Looks a little strange, but when I pick x to be 0, guess what? y equals 5. When I pick 1, guess what? y equals 5. I don't even have to do any math here. y equals 5. No matter what I pick, y equals 5. And check out what these points make. There's 0, 5. There's 1, 5, 2, 5, and 3, 5. They do all line up, and they go perfectly flat. Yes, there is a pattern there. So what would happen if I'm picking x's, and x is always negative 2? Well, watch. I pick y. y is 0. Guess what? x equals negative 2. When y is 1, guess what? x equals negative 2. Doing the exact same thing, just uh, from right to left instead of from left to right. And check out what happens when I put these points in. The line goes straight up and down. So 
the equation does make a straight line. All right, everyone, um, the next lesson will be on some word problems to be able to show you how we can use this. If you got questions, let me know. Everyone, have a great day.